Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to cast on a circular knitting machine. Um, the brand I'm using is an Addy, but any circular knitting machine, if you're wanting to do a basic cinch cast on, then this is the method that I would recommend that you use. What you want to do is you get your yarn, make sure that your um, first pin is to the left of the feeder, and you want to drop in a decent amount of tail into the middle of your machine about that much and then what you want to do is you want to loop the yarn underneath the first hook and then what you want to do is you want to turn your handle and you're going behind the next stitch and you want to make sure that the needle catches that first stitch and you're going in front behind in front behind in front behind all the way around and you're making sure that those needles when you're doing it in front the hook is pulling the yarn down inside the machine And when you get round to the last needle, you want to make sure that you're coming behind it. If you're not coming behind it, then chances are what you've done is you've skipped a forward back movement. So if you get to here and you're in front of the needle, then I would suggest that you go back and have a look um, whether or not you've done it correctly. So then what you want to do on the Addy is you open the little door, make sure this yarn is still behind and you feed it through and what you have let me just move the machine here is a little hole and you want to pop the yarn into that hole and close the door and then what you do the first row is always a little bit noisy and a bit awkward but you then carry on knitting in the round what i like to do as well is i like to zero my counter so that my cast on doesn't count as a row so you zero your counter however your counter zeros on your machine and when you get to this point you will then start going and knitting round. What you want to make sure on the first round, it can be a bit awkward, is this first tail, just tug it tight, not too tight but just enough so that you know that it's um, securely in there and then you want to knit round but just taking care that each needle is pull, catching the stitch because if you're gonna slip stitches often in the first round is when that slip stitch will happen but you want to make sure that these white needles are taking the yarn and pulling it down inside the machine and you also want to make sure that you this this bit that goes over the little hump is going down underneath see here it's it's not gone under you you want it to go underneath there so that you're getting nice, neat, consistent stitches. My machine's moving around a little bit because normally the Addy you can clamp down to the table. Um, I'd strongly suggest that you do that if you have an, have an Addy. So now you can see I'm back round to the black pin and then literally you just carry on knitting and if you're new to it you want to just take the first few rows nice and easy um, it depends on the yarn that you use this is red heart super saver stripes um, and my machine doesn't mind it but it does tend to drop stitches more often with this yarn than it does with other yarns let me just keep going round until you get to the row count that you want and I'm going to show you how to cast off in another video and also I will show you another cast on method uh, using waste yarn because some projects need waste yarn to cast on with as well so hope to see you again soon let me know if there's any videos that you'd like to see using the Addy machine see you again next time bye